thoughts everybody is having a phone call with themselves before you can indefinitely or even speak to anyone you are wired to have your own conversation with your own, own self first everybody is having a phone call with themselves before you can even speak to anyone so by the time you connect with somebody you're only wanting results you're only wanting assurance you're only wanting yourself more of yourself that's why they call it karma when you meet anyone that's why they call it karma because you only want yourself so everybody's talking to themselves before they're talking to anyone you're having your own conversation you're having your own conversation there's no one outside you're having your own conversation everybody's talking to themselves everybody's talking to their own self you're only having your own conversation there's no one no one no one no one no one no one outside of you whether you're scared whether your thoughts end with the beginning or the end with the end or the end with fear or death you having your own conversation with yourself you talking with yourself check this everybody who's born everybody who's born they have a perception everybody's born with a perception of themselves everybody's born with their own perception whether you like it or not as far as long as you are born here you, you are a perception you are a perception and what that means that you're gonna affect someone with a perception so this perception is the one that I'm talking about when I say everybody's having a phone call with themselves. You're having your own phone call. So each and every body, each and every entity, each and every vibration, each and every feeling, each and every story is a phone call with yourself. So everybody, everybody that's born here, everybody that's born inside this earth dimension, the third dimension, is only a perception because earth brings perceptions. The body that you see is third nature to the emotions, the emotion uh, second nature to the thoughts. So that's why I call it a perception. Each and every body comes with a perception. Each and every body that's born here comes with a perception. So you're not somebody, you're a perception, you're a dimension. So whatever perception you're locked inside to think as, that phone call is you. That phone call is about you. So. When you meet someone, a friend, and you're talking, you, you want to conversate, and this person connects, you guys are not speaking about something. It's the same perception. You are sharing the same perception. So the universe groups people or bodies inside perceptions. That's why in astrology you find Pluto that rings over 10 years. There's a certain uh, star, star people that are born in every 10 years. They call it Plutonic. So these people, they share a Plutonic energy. So they share the depth of why they're here. So this is a star system of the universe. That's why you use Pluto. So the perception, it doesn't matter where you come from, a family. It doesn't matter if you come from a no family. It doesn't matter if you were adopted. It doesn't matter if you're a loner. Everybody belongs to a certain group based on perception that the universe creates. The universe creates perception. Now when you're born here, what you see, you see TV or information, you see the government, they talk about the future, uh, your Nelson Mandela's, they talk about the past and, and the soul likes, like where we go into the future, you know, they're all about obsession. That obsession is the one that guarantees you or that shows you that this place is not even about existence, it's about perception. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to follow what I'm saying. It's about perception. When you come here and somebody tells you about the future when you come in somebody tells you about the past you must know it's all about perception it's all about the strategic thinking of an entity so perception is the universe that's why they call it dimensions so each and every entity body does not belong to its name or family you belong to a perception so as soon as you go out into the world you're looking for a job or you you're doing your own artistry work or you're doing whatever well, whoever you meet there these are perceptions so you have like-minded perceptions you meet you have fun your friends or you're in a relationship you have fun for the th first three months then after you get to know this person once you get to know this person you see their nasty habits then you don't like them you see the perception changes so it's the same thing it's the same thing that you're born with you are born with an original perception that is talk to yourself so you're having your own phone call that's a perception then there's life so you have your family then you have the country that you're born into think about inside your family you have your sisters and brothers for example 
these people are perceptions inbuilt inside your own feeling that you don't see thinking about but it comes over you it, it actually uh, what you call this it actually oversee or precedes your own understanding of what this place is so if you have family members like siblings yes they will come inside perception and they will affect your perception but as soon as you leave them and you're on your own journey which is why we call it spiritual the perception changes so you meet other people so these people give you more awareness of what this place is all about so you forget you forget more about where you come from you focus more about who, what you're becoming the perception that's that, that's entertaining that is giving you so that means that perception is more present inside your body than your family's perception which is true and which is allowed when you come here especially guys niggas you leave home go hustle go struggle then you find who you are you can't find who you are when you're chilling with your peeps no ways no ways no ways no ways no ways, no ways. you have to leave them so that you can find who you really are and it's gonna be lessons not just oh this is who you are no it's gonna come through lessons so even perceptions the universe is not direct remember it's secret energy so it releases energy inside your own intuition for you to find out it does not tell you like go left go right no 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 it's the things that you've been talking to yourself about that the universe is so these things they promise to save you so if you person and you're talking good that is the universe is so you have to fall into that if you are, your intuition is connected to that so perception is a big deal perception is is something that grows because once you get perception you get feelings you get emotions then you get what the physical things appear but first it has to come from a perception so <clears throat> right now we're in a system of course that is dwindling very fast so the perception among people is very doubtful is very i'm out of here man take care of your family take care of yourself check it out man no one will save you hey stay woke so you see all these perceptions these are new perceptions and it's, it's not people it's the universe through people because first you talk to yourself so that self-talk it's black lives matter that self-talk is a stay woke these are self-talks coming from the universe pieces of pieces of us we are pieces of the universe that's why when you when we when we share these words we feel more connected because yes the universe is one mind eventually yes so perception comes with uh, the dimension that you're born in so we as people we, we're born in different dimensions some people are born in the physical dimensions directly some people are born in the emotional dimension some people are born in the mental dimension so there's a difference doesn't mean if I'm a mental I don't have the emotions just that the emotions are elevated to my mental state rather than yours so perception is a big deal perception is a big thing perception is something that is the universe loves the universe creates perception Jesus was a perception the name God is a perception that's why artists in music they call, they call themselves God I myself I use the word God to bring about the spirit of perception inside myself because you see on a collective the word God is the highest frequency in the in this in the dark age but in the new age God is everybody so it's already happening whether you want to join it or you want to look at it as oh yeah this knowledge dumb shit but it's perception still knowledge is perception so it all falls down to what the entity how conscious are you or how how aware are you of your active thoughts versus your memory thoughts are you living inside your memory thoughts as you are you living inside your perception of a conscious thought you have to be conscious right about now the world is getting very conscious the world is getting conscious so perception consciousness is a big perception than the subconscious many people decide to live inside their own subconscious that is an unchanged subconscious subconscious is good but you have to have a trained one so i'm talking about an untrained subconscious like the government this the government that all type of shit that's an untrained subconscious you do something about it you don't complain that is a different perception of the same situation so perception is very big perception is one of the biggest things that the universe created here when it said all is mental it, it's talking about perception so you're having a phone call with yourself self-talk is a phone call and that's where the universe is so when you meet someone these people are proposing your own reality they can either give you more of that or take take away from that so look for like-minded people look for your soul groups stick with your soul groups right about now it's about soul group soul group okay then you'll be all right 
you know me, the black sun, sending love. Enjoy your day.